I'd like to now cover the muscles of the forearm on the posterior compartment. This is the brachioradialis, which has already been covered in a previous segment. I'm going to just hold that over to the side. And I'm going to start with this muscle right here. This is the extensor carpi radialis. That was the one that I told you that the pronator teres likes to point at. It is an extensor muscle that actually wraps around and can be seen from the anterior aspect of the forearm. Its origin is on the supracondylar ridge and lateral epicondyle of the humerus, and its insertion is the base of the second and third metacarpal. Its action is to extend and abduct the wrist. The next muscle I'd like to show you is the extensor digitorum, and you can actually see its tendon continue through the extensor retinaculum and its tendons splay out to digits 2, 3, 4, and 5. The extensor digitorum also has its origin on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and it inserts on the posterior surfaces of the distal phalanges of digits 2 through 5. The next muscle next to it This muscle right here is the extensor digiti minimi, or known as the lateralis in the cat. Its job is to extend the fifth digit, and you can actually follow its tendons underneath the extensor retinaculum, and you can see it splay out to digits four and five. The last muscle I want to show you of the posterior compartment is the extensor carpi ulnaris. The extensor car carpi ulnaris has its origin on the lateral epicondyle. Its insertion is on the fifth metacarpal, and its action is to extend and abduct the wrist.